back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy Love One and Hate One. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Ryan Garcia versus Teofimo Lopez. It's a super fight. And you guys, for what I'm hearing, this fight is 95% confirmed already. Teofimo Lopez is basically fighting for the money right now. Because as much slack as I give Teofimo Lopez, he's already a future Hall of Famer. He's two-time lineal. In my opinion, he's basically two-time undisputed. He beat the guy that beat the guy that beat the guy. Teofimo Lopez, when it comes down to his accolades in the sport of boxing, he's pretty much number one right now when it comes down to the fighters that he beat. You guys, at 135 and 140, the guy to beat, he beat Lomachenko and Josh Taylor. Those were the two guys that was undisputed. Those were the guys to beat. Now, if he beats Devin Haney, that's even better. But Devin Haney didn't beat the guy that beat the guy that beat the guy. He beat the guy that beat the guy after he beat the guy. You know what I'm saying? Then we don't want to talk about the email chump and all that stuff. We all know Devin Haney, props out to you. You're undisputed, but you still got some work to do. You guys, it is what it is. Beating Teofimo Lopez is just a huge win right now. You see what it did for George Cambosis. George Cambosis in talks to face Ryan Garcia, Lomachenko, Tank Davis, all because of the Teofimo Lopez win. So if Ryan Garcia is willing to take on Teo, Without a tune-up, even though I feel like he is going to take a tune-up, you guys, that is big business. Huge. And it shows you Ryan Garcia is not playing about getting back on top. And let me tell you guys this. Even though Ryan Garcia lost to Tank, and we will never forget about that, that's in the history books, right? But the closest we can get to forgetting about that is if, he just so happened to beat Teofimo Lopez. If he beats Teo, then the sky's the limit for Ryan. Now, your two-time lineal, or whatever you want to call it, well, lineal champion, you beat the guy, right? Um, you're basically, in my opinion, you could argue that you're undisputed, but you don't have all the belts, so you still have to go beat Roley, and it's a couple more tough fighters, Regis, Haney, winner. Not only that, it's sad to say, but Ryan Garcia could use the excuse that he was weight drained or whatever he tried to say at, what was it, 136 to fight with Tank. It will look more like a valid excuse if he just so happened to, especially if he stops Teofimo Lopez, y'all. Man, you guys, it will be something like, see, the bad thing about taking a tune-up coming straight off of a loss is nobody cares the tune-up fighter that you beat uh you're supposed to beat him anyway whatever but if you don't take a tune-up and you beat teofima lopez that makes the win even better you guys man ryan garcia this is a dangerous fight and could be a career ending fight for ryan garcia you guys there's no coming back from this well if he loses to Tio, then he might as well just be a prize fighter, and that's it. Forget about the belts. Forget about, you know, legacy and all that crap. You you could just be a, a, a Jake Paul. Just fight UFC fighters and, you know, like a Chris Eubank Jr. type of fighter. A type of fighter that's just basically just fighting for money. Right? Because I don't give Ryan Garcia a big chance against Tio Fimo Lopez. I don't. He will be a huge underdog against Tio. Yes, he still has that shotgun left hook, but it's pretty much evident on how to beat Ryan Garcia right now. The blueprints is just out there. Thanks to Tank. Go downstairs. And let me tell you guys something about Tio. He is a lethal body puncher when he wants to be. So Ryan Garcia, man, he can be in tremendous trouble when it comes down to T.O. Fimo Lopez. In fact, he better take a tune-up. I'll tell you that. And I feel like he's going to take a tune-up. I feel like he's going to fight against Pedro Campa. 
and this year he'll fight Pedro Campa like in November, December, and then be ready for a super fight against Teofimo Lopez in February, Super Bowl weekend. We all know that is going to be massive. Man, then you got the whole Puerto Rico versus, I think, Tio's Puerto Rican, right? The Puerto Rico versus Mexico. We all know that's huge on the strength of that alone. And Ryan Garcia, he is an exciting fighter. He knows how to sell a fight, and he has the style that can please people. He's a knockout artist. Just because he didn't stop Tank, I feel like Tank may have a better chin than Tio. We have to remember T.O. did get dropped, a real drop, by George Cambosis. Ryan Garcia hits way harder than George Cambosis. But this fight right here got me hyped, y'all. But that's my thoughts on this shit. I am out.